Welcome to Valmidi Labs. Over the last few months, I started getting back into reading. And at the beginning of the year, I was like, I want to start 3D printing bookmark to show representation of every single book that I'm reading in 2025. Because I had seen people making those little miniature books and making little miniature bookcases. And I was like, yeah, I could do that. I got the Cricut machine and I can, you know, got the printers. I can 3D print a shelf and all that good stuff. But I was like, I want to make bookmarks because one, I started 3D printing bookmarks last year when I watched Macy Makes 3D's video on how she creates bookmarks using Hue Forge. And I'll go ahead and link her video with her whole process so you guys can follow along with it and do the same things that I've been doing uh, in the description below. But last year when I saw her video, I wanted to give it a shot. So I used ChatGPT to create some um, uh, generated AI, AI Halloween images. And so I came up with these. Have the uh, witch have skulls, ghosts, and of course, pumpkins. And I think they came out fantastic. I really love them, right? And I just wanted to check out the process and see how everything came out. She used Illustrator, but I used Inkscape because I, I ain't paying Adobe a damn thing. Um, and yeah, it was an exact one-to-one -one match on using Illustrator and Inkscape, but I got it I got it done using ChatGPT to help me figure out the things that I was missing from her video in Inkscape. Anyway, that's not the point. So what the point is, is I started also 3D printing because I didn't want to use AI images. So I actually, I have a few around, but uh, I, I made some for people and I didn't get their permission to show them on camera, but I'll show an example of one. I started doing photos and this is one of me and my daughter, right? And I have some where it's just her, like this that my partner it's she's in the other room but she's working so i don't want to bother her for them um but like i was like i'm really loving these customized bookmarks with people's faces on them right like that, that i thought this was a really cool unique kind of a thing and i sold a few of these um you know obviously customer supplied the photo and i did it in and, and i did them black and white right i uh color matching wasn't available yet and also i am still relatively new to hue forge i am still learning i am no way a, a, a grand master in it right um and so for this year at the beginning of the year i was like you know what i'm gonna start 3d printing bookmarks for each one so i'm gonna show some of these now, some of the colors are a little bit off. Again, one, I don't, I'm not a master at Hue Forge. I'm still learning that and I'm still trying to get better at it. And two, the amount of filament that I have, I don't have that much. So I had to kind of work with what I had. But since they're just for me, I think they came out great and I want to share them. So the first book I read for the year was uh, Andy Weir's Hail Mary. Fantastic, fantastic book one of my top five science fiction books of all time. It's a great book. Watch the Mark, read the Martian, listen to the Martian. Anyway, the bookmark is this, right? I think it, it, I think it's pretty good. Gets the job done, right? The second book that I read for the year, uh, is a short story is the housemaid's wedding. Uh, I had read the trilogy of the housemaid and I learned about this little short book that took place in between book two and three. So I, got it and i read it and you know again didn't really have the colors to kind of get everything blended in here and again it's just for me but it gets the job done it's going to give me that re visual representation at the end of the year uh, i did mess up with the little the hole back up here but that was just me being an idiot um now if i had more colors and i was willing to do more filament changes rather than just the four colors on the ams yeah i probably could have gotten it looking a lot better this way but Again, it's just for me, gets the job done. The next book I read, I don't have the book here because that's actually, it's actually my partner's and she's in the other room with it, so I don't want to bother her, but it's Hamilton. Uh, it was by Lin-Manuel Miranda. It's just kind of showcasing the behind the scenes of the play, which I think is a fucking masterpiece. I think it's, it's the one of the greatest things, one of the greatest pieces of art that everyone needs to, to watch at least once. But yeah, so there's that bookmark. Came out pretty good. The next one was another Frida McFadden book because I started getting into her books. It's Never Lie. And there's that. that. Not pretty good. I mean, not the greatest, but, you know, again, gets the job done. And I'm going to I'm gonna stop saying it gets the job done because me saying it already got the job done, I think. <laughs> uh, Dark Matter. This is a phenomenal science fiction book. Um, I'm actually almost done with the show. I read it before I started watching the show. 
absolutely adore this book. And there is that. Use red instead of like this. I, I want to say this is more like a neon red, but I think it look. I think this one came out great. This is probably my favorite one. Um, now, did it come out the best compared to some of the other ones? No, but it's my personal favorite just because I love the cover for the dark matter. Anyway, this is an, uh, the next book I read was a time traveler's theory. And here's that. I really, I really love this cover. It, it's awesome. And I, I love how the bookmark came out. I, uh, the color match really did well. Again, I don't have all the colors that I needed to really kind of match this up, but you know what I want to say. <laughs> uh see here next book i read was the wild robot and here's that this i think was the best looking one out of all of them um i just really like how everything kind of match um uh matched up but yeah that that just that is definitely probably my favorite one that i've done see here next up is the teacher another Frida mcfadden book and there it is. I don't. I need to get a point two nozzle so this the, the writing on top can get a, a done a lot better. But again, I think it still looks great. I like how the knife came out. Uh, the apple. No complaints. Uh, then I read on tyranny. This one is very basic. I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, what what what? How hard is this one, right? And then the book I am currently reading. So this is my 10th book of 2025. So these are just for the books that I've read up until now, which is February 14th. Right now I'm currently reading uh, The Secret History. I didn't have any like marble color filament to match this. So I decided, you know what? It's just for me. I'm going to do it in black and white. But I think it's still, you can still see the face. I really like how that came out. So um, I, I, I also started listening to audiobooks i didn't 3d print a bookmark for the audiobooks that i've been listening to i mean i've listened to one audiobook i'm on my second one now i'm trying to figure out exactly what i want to 3d print for that visual representation i'm thinking magnets um and that's going to be another video that i do in talking about some of the magnets that i've made um i'll just show one real quick like this one here uh, your story isn't over yet. I was trying to make these like positive theme <laughs> refrigerator magnets. And then I just use uh, business card size uh, magnets on the back. But I was thinking about 3D printing the audiobook covers or the, uh, the covers of the audiobooks that I'm reading here, but still haven't decided that. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. That's my main project for 2025. Um, ugh, project 2525. That's some scary shit right there uh but yeah that's what i'm doing right now and then in a few months probably in the next 10 books that i read i'll show those i'll make another video showing those off um but yeah it's amazing what you can do with hue forge and um 3d printing to make custom 3d printed bookmarks again i think these are really cool when you 3d print um photog photos um I don't have anything else, but I like 3D print. I love using Hue Forge more for this type of stuff, to be honest with you. And I have some more examples, but uh, I'll show those off in another video. But yeah, uh, if you like this and you're interested in seeing more of this content, just go ahead and do the whole YouTube thing. Please like and subscribe to this video. Uh, leave a comment if there's anything that uh, with Hue Forge that you've designed that you've seen nobody else. 3D print. Uh, I'd be interested in seeing what other uses people are using Hue Forge uh, for. And uh, definitely check out Macy Makes 3D because without her video last year, I would not be interested in doing these. Um, but yeah, I love joining two of my favorite passions together, 3D printing and reading. So yeah, see you in the next video.